Hi there boys and girls. Today I'm going to give you a bit of an insight into my Aguilar Tone Hammer pedal. I have used this pedal for a few years and I am recommending it to all of y'all. Um, I used to use a Sansamp before but um, it kind of died on me and I needed something with a bit more edge as well. So with a bit of research I reached the decision to get the Aguilar Tone Hammer and I've never looked back since. Now, I've seen a few reviews online, they're all quite technical, some of them are quite cool, but uh, I thought I'd give you a quick one. Very simple and very practical. So, first and foremost, this is a great pedal with, with great versatility. It can act as a direct box or also known as DI box, which is powered by an 18 volt power supply. Now, today I'm using Phantom Power with the help of my uh, XLR DI output here. Now, you can use both DI output and jack output at the same time without any trouble whatsoever. So if you're doing a live gig and you want to send a di direct output into the mixing desk, you use the DI out and you can use your, your own output for your own amp. And in fact, you can have two different signals going out at the same time. So, in this case, both signals are exactly the same. But, if you press the engage button, that engages the EQ that you have on the pedal and the volume, the gain and the master volume. Right, so, as soon as the blue light is on, you've engaged this part of this pedal. So now, from your output, from your jack output, the signal that goes out of there is controlled by the, all of these buttons. You also have the option to send the same signal, this signal, which it depends on your settings here. You have the option to send this same signal to the mixing desk via the DI box as well. And the way to do that is by manipulating this little button here right next to the DI out. Uh, you can see here it says pre and post, so basically when the button is pressed in that means that you're using the settings that you have here and you're sending those to the desk if you press the button and it's pressed out that means that the signal that you're sending via your XLR DI out is completely flat the same as the signal as if you didn't have this engage button pressed on so this is this is the these are the basics in a nutshell you have Another button here which gives you an extra boost the distortion, which is great. And, and I'm going to go through a few of the different sounds that you can get uh, with this pedal. I personally like a bit more gain in my signal, but I'll start at the, in the 12 o'clock position, which is the mid position. And I'll start in the middle position with the master here. And everything else will be in the middle position. So treble at 12 o'clock and bass at 12 o'clock. So these are at their flat position. Now, the mid controllers here, they're slightly, they operated in a slightly uh, peculiar way, which I'm gonna go through in a minute. I'm using uh, an American Precision Bass, a vintage one, for this, for the purposes of this demo. So this is what it sounds like when everything is in its flat position. Here we go. So this is the sound that comes from these settings via the DI output because I have got it in the post uh, EQ position. Now if I switch that off, you're gonna hear the completely and absolutely flat signal that this pedal sends. I'll let you judge the difference for yourself. Now, post EQ button pressed in, so engaged, there we go. Now, if I turn the gain up, this is what happens. It's immediately louder. Now, if you prefer the sound with the gain up there or even up there, let's try this. That's a considerable, considerable difference there. Um, but if it's too hot, 
for your amp, you could just turn the master down and you'll get the same intensity of the sound. Just quieter. Okay, and you can do the same thing if you don't want it to be so edgy. But you still need the volume, just turn the volume up, turn the gain down, turn the volume up. That was a bit too that's a bit too loud now. I'm gonna turn the gain down all the way down. Right, I personally like to have it like this with my precision bass. Okay? So So it's like uh the the signal is not too hot. I have quite a lot of room on my amp or whatever I'm using and the sound still has a bit of a, a bit of an edge because I've got the gain up a bit so I'm actually going to turn it up a bit more. Now, when it comes to the mid frequency controllers this is basically what they call a parametric EQ. Now, I'm not the biggest expert on these things but simply explain how it works. This is your mid mid frequency knob. So, if we say that this is at the bottom of your mid frequency so these are your low mids and that these are your highest mids that this pedal can control this would be the middle position. So you're pretty much in the middle of your mid frequencies position. And with this button, you either boost it. So this is 12 o'clock. This is at the middle. This is this is on zero, basically. So if you want to boost this particular frequency that you might like, you just need to turn this um, potentiometer to the right. And, and you know this is the maximum that you can boost it. Or if you don't like this particular frequency and you want to scoop it or cut it out, you just turn it down to the left. Right. So... I personally really like, on my P-Bass, I really like this mid-frequency, which is more towards the low mids frequency, and I like to boost it. So you, my, my personal preferences are these settings. I know there's not, so, not, not too much difference. I mean, there is a, there is a difference. Uh, it's quite subtle, but it makes all the difference when you're playing with the band. If you want a brighter sound, you just turn these up a bit. And to the top. Or if you wanted a bit more bass. Remember, this is your middle position, your zero position. So everything beyond that to the left is cutting this frequency out. Everything to the right is boosting this frequency. Examples for the extra distortion that you can get from this pedal. You can do that by engaging the AGS button and this extra light lights up. Now, this is what it sounds like with my preferred settings, but with a just distortion boost. Now, when you have the AGS or the extra distortion engaged, uh, you can really change the sound with these two buttons, with the mid frequency and the uh, mid level. So I'll just show you, it really affects the, it really makes a difference. So if I turn this up and I turn this completely down, <laughs> turn it up even more. <laughs> or I can go in the middle position and try this. sound is immediately thinner because I've gone into the mid position of the middle fre mid frequencies but if I want to have it even brighter I'll just go up there so this is what it sounds like without the distortion so if we go back to my preferred settings which is this a slight boost in the uh, lower range of the mid frequencies for my precision bass and I play without the AGS or without the distortion and I press the distortion now beautiful well that's pretty much it um, I know I didn't go into too much technical stuff the reason is because I don't know that stuff and <laughs> this video is for uh, people like me. 
just to understand how to use this pedal. There we are. All right. Don't forget to subscribe.